Is Biscuit here? I don't know where Sexy Biscuit is. Uh, I'm here! Oh, kill him! Sorry, Boris. Hello. Sorry I'm a little bit late. Hello, you sexy biscuits, and welcome back into Kingdom Come News! A <laughs> little bit behind the scenes, that took about three takes, and I am now incredibly tired of the things I do for YouTube. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about the fact that a lot of information has been released about the Woman's Lot DLC, the dog in the Woman's Lot DLC, a upcoming sale, the future of Kingdom Come Deliver- Basically, there is a lot of information here. So grab your favourite monster energy drink and your pack of bourbons and let's get into this. So a couple of days ago, Warhorse Studios had a live stream. And in that live stream, the bearded god Sir Toby ended up answering a lot of questions. And these are questions that we have been asking for a very, very long time. Okay, so I want to get to the Women's Lot DLC first, because this, of course, is the next DLC that is coming to the game. Oddly, one of the biggest questions that everyone keeps asking is, is the dog that you get to have as your companion going to be the same dog that you found in Scalettes around the start of the game? Well, maybe. Clever question. I don't know, because the model of the dog will be different the one you get. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure eventually, but I don't know from which point you will get the dog. As Toby does say, they have changed the model of the dog. If you know Kingdom Come Deliverance, the dogs always look exactly the same. So I'm guessing for this DLC, they wanted to spice up a bit and have this dog looking more unique. But that does not take away the fact that this could actually be the same dog that you find at the butchers in Scalids. So I'm personally going to say, yes, that would make sense. You do see this dog walking alongside you as Teresa and the gang carry you back to retire at the start of the game. And the other thing is people keep asking, will this DLC continue the relationship between Teresa and Henry? We want to extend the, if you can remember, the like the love, relation, love relation with Teresa, Henry and Teresa. It was somewhat disappointing that it, they had a no underwear party. And then never talk to each other again, which I think is kind of Take it from real life. Don't say as this never happens in, in real life. So just saying whatever <laughs> people were complaining and that's all, of course totally, totally fair. And we are extending this part. Giggity, giggity, giggity. <laughs> But a little bit, as far as I know. So in the base game for everyone, this, there, there will be something about that. Well, I guess the answer is that then. But that does put this into a weird position, because I'd always thought that this DLC was going to take place when Henry is unconscious at the start of the game, and you would play as Teresa, but I'm thinking that might not be the case. Possibly taking place after Henry courts Teresa and does the do. <laughs> I don't know how to say that without getting demonetized. The birds and the bees putting the sausage in the bun. <laughs> Tickling the grapefruit. I I'm gonna stop. <laughs> Also a question that was brought up here is, is this going to be separate from your main character of Henry? And Toby gave a very weird and very indirect answer. Kind of. I mean, you play as Teresa, right? But it will be kind of separated. Yeah, we know nothing else about this. Of course, Toby wasn't able to give much information away because this is, of course, secret. It's supposed to be a surprise. But he did give some pretty good information on how the dog will work in the new DLC. I saw the dog today here on the screens and what I saw is pretty cool because the dog will, for example, help you in hunting. Haha, <laughs> so you can say fetch and he will go attacking stuff for you, which is very, very cool, and he will help you hunting. What immediately came to my mind was like the, was it Ness? Yeah, I think it was Ness. Like the, the Ness light gun thing, where you were shooting the ducks, and then the dog were, was, was bringing the ducks. Yeah, I'm not sure how exactly it will, if it will exactly work like that, but yeah, some, somewhat in this way. But you can also use it, of course, to attack other people, and he will help you, Doggy will also help you to find 
um, points of interest and so on. So I, I think the, the Doc Companion will be pretty cool. Only in the last video where we talked about this DLC, I said that I kind of hoped it worked like Dead to Rights, where you had your dog companion who would be able to go and attack enemies. But the fact that the dog is going to be able to fetch maybe rabbits you've shot with your bow and arrow, or also possibly weapons off of enemies that you've slain, I really, really like that. As Toby references, this is very like the NES game Duck Hunt. Although in that game, the dog was a smarmy piece of crap. Sorry, I'm getting NES Duck Hunt flashbacks. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Some other interesting news about DLC 4 aka a woman's lot is the fact that we may also be getting some gameplay very soon. If you don't know, PAX East is taking place between March 28th and the 31st of this month. And that is going to be taking place in Boston, Massachusetts. I will be there with our uncle THQ Nordic because they have a big, big, big booth there and we will, uh, we are very fortunate to be with them there and I will get, I think, three PCs or so and I will show DLC 3 to the public. So this is already, of course, known. That's not the interesting part. The interesting part is that I will have some version, some work in progress version from DLC 4 with me and I will showcase this to media most likely. And this is cool because this will eventually be the first time you might also see something or read something about it. So yes, we could be getting some gameplay at the end of the month. Now, this does lead me to believe that this DLC will be coming out in April. We have had this happen before when they've gone to an event and shown the new DLC and then the next month it's out. So I'm really hoping that this DLC comes out probably at the end of April. So yes, that was quite a lot of information on the new Women's Lot DLC. Are you excited to play as Teresa and have your own dog companion. Comment down below. But Roxy, the story isn't finished. Kingdom Come can't end here. We have to get the father's sword. Very, very true. Unfortunately, that's not going to happen in Kingdom Come 1. Will there be a follow-up to the main story? What I meant is that with everything we have planned for Kingdom Come Deliverance, that's it. It won't continue further in the development cycle of Kingdom Come Deliverance. What we do in the future is what we do in the future, but Kingdom Come Deliverance as it is, is finished. What the, Those DLCs are just signed injections, so there won't be any DLC that continues with the story or adds something in the end. No, all those DLCs are side injections. Questions always, will I get Father Sword? Well, no, you won't get Father Sword in this thing, right? In none of those DLCs. As Toby says, the DLC is its own separate entity. This is not going to continue the mainline story of Kingdom Come. And I'm gonna say it now, Kingdom Come Deliverance is over after the modding support's added. And I know that's sad, but that's how games work. We will not see the end of Henry's story in Kingdom Come Deliverance because the game is ended, that is it. Although the story will continue. I think that's pretty obvious. Maybe it won't be called Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. It may be called Kingdom Come Look at My Bum. We don't know. But what we do know is that this is the end of Kingdom Come Deliverance. Once DLC 4 is done, that's it. I got an email today from Katerina. She supervises and is responsible for the recordings uh, for Kingdom Come Deliverance. And she's working with the actors and so on. She has Luke Dale and the others and, and Tom McKay and everyone. They, she has them over and together they're recording in the studio. And I got a mail from her. Hi guys, this the time has come and we have uh, the totally last session of voiceover recordings ahead of us. As Toby just said, they're recording the last lines. That's it. It's over. And that is sad. But of course, modding is going to be coming to the game. And I am personally really excited for that. I am going to be covering all of the big mods. I'm going to be covering everything. Also, if you make a Biscuit Town mod or a Biscuit related mod, I will most definitely be covering that. And then we just have to sit and wait until Warhor Studio goes, hey, we have something else in the works. But yeah, it is going to be a sad day when Woman's Lot comes out because that's the last time that they're going to be adding anything new to the game. 
And the last piece of news we have is the fact that Kingdom Come Deliverance will be having a sale from March 12th until the 18th on the Xbox. The game will be about 55% off, so make sure to jump on that deal when you can. From the Ashes alone will be 50% off and the Amorous Adventures of the Bulls or Hands will be 30% off. I highly recommend this and of course having a discount is awesome. And that is your news update. Anyway, I'm gonna go now and uh, go give Boris a pat on the head as I kind of tripped and fell on him at the start of the video. Sorry, buddy. He's fine. Anyway, I love you guys, but until next time, that's me, out. Bye, guys. Oh!